Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin. Today we're back with Mel from Seymour Putters and I'm, I'm here for my fitting today, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I've been gaming the Scotty Cameron, uh, but obviously, you know, the message we got from Seymour last week about the, you know, face balance impact, impact is what is what sold it to me really. Well, I think again, it, it's something that we, we, we're gonna, today we're gonna go through the options that you can try yeah. getting you in a putter that's the correct length for you, the correct lie angle. So your posture is good, you're balanced when you're putting and you're not moving forward because one of the problems is if you get too short a putter, you're falling over. So yeah. all those things come from getting you set up. If you can get your set up great, we're, we're, we're halfway there to getting the ball in the hole. So what we're going to go through today then is a bit of a, a, a fitting on a putter. Yeah. And, and like like you said, is some little bit of advice on how to stand and address it. Yeah. Because it's not like, you know, a normal high street putter, is it? No. So first things, let's let's do a static measurement. So right. feet apart, hands down by your side, met fists. Perfect. Always check both sides because people are always stand off. So I, I've got a measurement on there and we have a, a comparison. So you, you're 34 and so we're looking to put it probably in the area of 35 and a half inches for you. Right. Okay. It's a start point. Yeah. You know, again, it's not, this is not the be all and end all. Yeah. We're going to make sure when you, we've got that length in your hand, yeah. how that feels for well, you. Well, that's really interesting as well, Mel, because, you know, over all years of playing golf, I've never tried to push it at 35 and a half. So I guess that's the beauty of, you know, some yeah. advice, isn't it? Yeah, and, and again, it, we may end up at 35. Yeah. We may end up longer. It, it, we, 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 that's our start point. Yeah. Then that then brings into where your eyes are. Yeah. Which, again, is something we'll look at and, and where you're, you're positioned. So, so first impressions, it doesn't feel unordinary. It doesn't feel... So the first thing I'm looking for now is I'm looking where your eyes are. So at yeah. 35 and a half, I've got your eyes coming down on the heel. The other thing I've got is your shoulders are over your feet, so you're balanced. Yeah. Yeah? The shorter you go, you'd move forward yeah. and you become unbalanced. That's right. I mean, my weight's more towards my toes when I Correct. do that. Correct. And, and to be fair, I've naturally, because it's longer, I think I've naturally stood a lot more upright than I normally so, so would. So what, again, you're a tall guy. So if you look at your back line, you've got yeah. a nice square back line. And yeah. so the posture is really good. That's and so you're just rocking your shoulders. Good stuff. So we spoke about the rifle scope technology, hiding the white lines, getting the ball in the correct position really simple to find this for everybody put the putter up close your eyes let it drop and that will put the ball the, the face of the putter and the rear of the ball in yeah. the correct position yeah which is basically in the center of your stance and what you'll see is when you do that close your eyes don't steer it <laughs> so just drop yeah let it drop so what happens now straight up through the middle of your body yeah yeah, yeah that's right yeah and you know that's crazy because you know most people will be taught to play more towards the front foot, won't they? Yeah, one of the things that we get with people say, oh, my hands are behind. Yeah. So what we do is take a little picture that shows you your square. Yeah. And again, to me, it's easy for you to swing yeah. that. So now if I just set you up, just set up again for me. <laughs> So for me, Gary, you have a, quite a neutral hand position. Yeah. Yeah? And the, the sole of the putter is sitting nice and square at that length. You know, too often we see people that have putters that are way too long and they're sitting like this. Yeah. That's no good. Change its face plane till I'm Correct. Change. So if we look at you in that putter, for me, well, maybe, just flatten the heel half a degree. I wouldn't want you to do it with your hands. Yeah. I like your posture. When I built it, I just flattened the heel, yeah. which would take it up a little bit. So we might go to 70 and a half degrees on the lie rather than 70 degrees. Yeah. Yeah? I guess, so if I just sort of, my posture would probably be about, I'd say there. That's where I feel comfortable. One of the things we do in fittings because of people getting their arms down is use use yoga ball so yeah. take that out drop that in your hands and just let your hands drop 
Yeah. And then just rock. And just put the putter back into. I guess my hands have come a little bit closer in now. Yeah. Since using that. I definitely feel like I'm swinging more across my chest and shoulders. You are. You, you, your hands yeah. are. You, the essence is you don't want you don't want your hands in the putting stroke. Yeah. You know, I know people will say Cameron Smith has got his hands in the putting stroke, but he's he's kind of a one of in this in this era. Yeah. So would I get to try some more putters? Yeah. So basically, there that's that's one of the pattern. I actually do like this head design. This is one of would you call it the original? This is the original. The Zach this, Johnson this one. This is the, this is the the putter that's been used. It won the U.S. Open '99, yeah. won the Masters in 2007, and won the British Open. I am a bit guilty, obviously, looking at website, having a look at different models, and that was this particular one with the one that you know caught my eye. Yeah, the, the base points of impact in a platinum. That's also available in in a, a black finishing obviously oh, mm. and and also obviously a lefty but again available in the right I, I like that finish even more yeah yeah so that all these putters we're working with today yeah are face balanced at impact which yeah. is what what you came we were discussing before you well, came that, that's the reason I'm that's here, the really. reason you're here yeah. to try face balanced at impact putter. yeah so Again, now what we would do is get you to hit golf balls, right? Give you a feel, but yeah. hit your own golf balls, the ones you use, because you want to feel. Yeah. So we've got various heads, various met metals, various coatings. Yeah. So then we'd be looking for you to try a number of putters to yeah. see which one you like the feel off the face. Right. And then once you hit some balls, we then just go back to what we've done yeah. and reassess what we're doing. Right. Then the final stage is obviously we're going to be looking at the grip yeah. that you want in your hand because again, we don't have what's called a standard grip. Right. So there is a selection of probably ten grips. Yeah. We'll go through what grip you want to feel in your hand. Yeah. What's what you're maybe what you're used to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh that felt soft. Felt really nice. And that feels, uh, I like. I do like the feel. feel that's, that. that's Model B aluminium insert. It's softer than I expected, actually. Yeah. I thought, I, I didn't know aluminium were that soft. Feels like a nice roll. So, same shape, entry level putter again, but no insert. So, the original FGP. I think this this is a this might just be a little bit better for the kind of greens we plan over here in, in UK. It's a bit sharper off the face. Just, yeah, just a tad sharper off face. Wanna? I feel like I could let the weight of the club do the work a bit more. Okay. Just have one more. Just take a bit longer stroke. That's definitely better weighted, I think. Okay, for the green so we're going to swap on. over to a fully milled now. So we're moving right. into a different price bracket, but again, a different feel. I mean, when we're talking price brackets as well, guys, I'm guessing this is under the price of a leading market driver, isn't it? Oh, definitely, definitely. You're looking at around 350, £375 pounds for this putter. And it's the club we use the most, so... CNC machined out of a single block of metal. For some reason that felt right in the middle of them two. It felt felt right in the middle of the feel. I don't know if that's yeah. just me or... But that just felt lovely. Did you see, face balance has impact all these putters. So easy through the stroke.
That feels so it feels soft, but then it rolls well. Yeah. It, it, it feels soft, but it comes off crisp. It's yeah, weird. on the face, if you look, the grooves in the face, which yeah. so again. And this one's available in black as well. It is, yeah. But I'm going to give you another face balanced impact in the same material. Right. It's the one SS. Yeah. So it'll give you that's exactly the same material, just a different coating. Right. So I must say. I think it, it's probably true when they say you get what you pay for. I mean, the other ones felt great, don't get me wrong. But... There was just something a bit different about that last one. So again, that, that's the same material, it's different, it got coat in it, and they tend to have a slightly different feel. Yeah. I do like the feel of this one. Yeah. So the finish doesn't make much difference in feel. It, it, it does make a slight difference, it? but it, it's again, the finish is a visual thing. For me, I like the black putters because yeah. the white line, the lining up aid is a lot clearer on the yeah. on a, on a black putter. Um, so if, if you're a player that struggles with the lining up, yeah. The a black on white is in is in your face. It's there. Yeah. So if you are creeping either way, yeah. it shows up a lot better. Can I just try that one again? The yeah. only reason is is I don't want looks to be determined. In fact, I want performance to be. You know what I'm like. Easily led into what looks good. I wonder if just the length of this though is helping a tad as well. It is, but the one I gave you with this is half an inch difference, and yeah. that's quite the the or the, the black one is only yeah. half an inch. Yeah. So, so again, obviously the when uh, with the length that'll feel slightly heavier because the swing weight will be uh, slightly higher because yeah. it's half an inch longer. I think the other thing, Gary, is that is the that is the length for you, and so your posture with that putter. Yeah. Is, is is where we want it to be going yeah. forward. You talk about the performance that we want you in that posture. You, it, I feel so much better in this posture, yeah. honestly. I'd never stand this tall. I think I think I'm gonna go black. Yeah. I think I think you do have to love the look of your equipment, don't you? Totally. If if you don't like the look and you don't yeah. like the feel if you I'm know. ever going through a bad period of putting, at least I love the look of my golf club, don't I? Well, it's really, I mean, driver is the greatest example. People used to say, I don't care what the driver looks like so long as it goes further. Yeah. And then when they hit it further into the rubbish, they fall out of love with it. Very yeah. Quickly. Yeah, I guess if you like the look, at least you're in love with it, yeah. aren't you, no matter yeah. what. Maybe a bit shallow, but uh, no, I think, I think I'm going to, commit on to black okay but in the in the premium in the one. in the mfgp yeah yeah so the nashville series putter so let's let's talk a little bit about grip yeah y your your gamer currently is is a very similar grip to this in yeah. the sense of the size which is basically a mid-size grip yeah uh, for me i don't like people to have massive big grips because it's it's tied in a fold. That that's interesting, isn't it? Because I guess that's against what a lot of industry is trying to push. Uh, what the industry is, but now if you look at the best putters on tour, yeah, most of the guys play. Yeah, I mean, if you go to Tiger, who one of yeah. the best putters that we've seen, yeah, he has played with a very standard small grip all the way through. Yeah, that's um, true. And one of the reasons is that you know you've got to release the putter as well through yeah the bigger the grip the harder it is to release so we don't want a really big grip on there probably and an interesting point and you're right in the fact that people probably only do look to a mid-size or an oversize but when they're struggling don't they but the, you it's, know, if you're putting really good you wouldn't you just stick with your standard grip wouldn't you how often are you told that the guys comes in and he says i'd like a big grip on my putter yeah. why do you want a big grip on your putter because my mates holding loads with a big grip on yeah you know 
that's kind of not the way to get fitted for a footer grip. Yeah. You know, we want to make sure that your stroke and you are swinging the club. And yeah. you know, for me, I like the look of you with the, that mid-sized grip on. Do you know which one I like though, the feel of more? So I don't know if that's available in different sizes or... Right, so that's... That, that pro one, Let me, to me. Let, let me grab, that. that's a parallel. So effectively that's parallel all yeah. the way down. So that's, that's basically, now there is, a uh, tapered version which I'll grab. So it's called a quad toe and it's like you say it doesn't taper down it's just parallel which is probably like my plus four grips that I have in my irons Can I just um, because I like the thought of the the pressure being balanced. So that's that's the tapered version of the same grip. So I, I don't know whether I'm right in saying this but I, in my irons I use plus four golf pride grips because yeah. I like the feeling of both hands have got a balanced amount of pressure Correct, yeah. and if it's tapered I, would I be a bit maybe possibly a bit lighter in that well, right that, hand? the whole point of tapered grips is to stop yeah. stop people pulling I mean effectively yeah. it's because that hand gets too strong and too yeah. controlling so right so the whole point of the the sort of phenomenon which has been going through now on on parallel grips is yeah. be, because the bottom hand yeah the bottom hand is dominant and and exactly right plus four grips basically to stop you hooking the ball yeah yeah uh, so again for me I quite like if somebody's got that strong hand to yeah. see them with a parallel parallel grip oh I still I like that so for me what we've ended up with today yeah is the MS, MFGP Nashville series yeah a traditional flagship putter yeah 35 and a half inches yeah different world for you not been there yeah, before never yeah. been there yeah. before lie angle of 71 is that more upright or flatter? slightly upright slightly upright yeah. yeah because because we want to get that heel yeah off we want that heel was slightly off the ground so I'm yeah. gonna move it that way I don't want you to move your hand your hands good yeah yeah and then the Seymour quad tour grip which yeah. is a parallel grip well, you know, that fitting for me today is, is incredible because, you know, I'd have never, ever gone and bought a 35 and a half inch putter. Then the other thing... But I'm really confident in what you're saying as well. The way I've stood to ball and felt, I'm not sort of thinking I'm buying this just through your advice. I'm, I'm going to buy it because it feels right as well. And the other thing is, which we, we will do, when we go back, we'll check the swing weight on this setup. Yeah. And build your putter to match that swing weight. So yeah. It won't come, and you think, well, this feels nothing like the one I tried. Yeah, and that's yeah. very important, isn't yeah. it? Because this will feel happen. exactly like the putter you've tried today. Yeah, which you basically knock the ball very close and in the hole. Now, the, there'd be a couple of geeky guys watching this, you know, because I know what they're like. What about head covers and things like that? Okay, is there some optional extras there? Yeah, with 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 all, uh, we have a, a range of various head covers. Yeah. Go on to seymourputters.co.uk. There's about 20 different head covers from yeah. camo to shamrock to groovy yeah. to red. We've got we've got a fantastic selection of head covers. We've even just got new ones in tiger print. So if yeah. if if the guys really want something different, yeah. we've got three different versions of tiger print. And and you just go on there and go on to the head cover section, and yeah. you've got a great range of various head covers. Cool. Slight upcharge, and they're all magnetic, the upcharge ones. Right, that's excellent. So guys, that concludes on today's videos. You know, that push is gonna be on order. It's gonna be something, hopefully I'm gonna receive it next week or so, um, and you're gonna see a lot more of that on the channel. And obviously we'll, you know, We'll show you how I progress with that, but I'm, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I have had a Seymour putter before, where I had a long stint of putting really well, and, and, and like we said earlier with most golfers, as soon as it goes wrong, you, you know, you, you do look towards something else, but actually, you know, I, I can remember the days I had with that Seymour putter, and they were good days. Yeah, and I think, I think you're right, but sometimes you need to have an, a go with something else, whether it's a different shape of Seymour or a different putter. Yeah. Because, you know, you just need to change the mind. Yeah. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that too. We've got Sam here who's uh, he's trying one. So Sam's just been having a putter fitting and uh, a bit like me, he's, he's, he's got down to final two putters. How are they feeling, Sam? The Seymour Blues, haven't we? Got the Seymour Blues. I don't know. I am 
Wait, let's have a look. Show us the model. Which one is it? In between. This is the Model 7. M7 so Platinum. Let's have a look at the back there. Is it the one I've been using? It's one of the oh, ones you've looked at. It's similar. Just tighten that up. Yeah, and between that one and the, the one on the end, the Model 4. That's pushy. That's not the putter. What length were you fitted for? Okay, so we've had a little conversation actually. They, with my short arms by the sounds of it. Yeah. It said 35 and a half. Cause you're, so you're like me then, so you, is it getting you stood a lot more tall? Yeah. Or? So I had to go with it and I felt like I didn't know where the putter was. And I, could, yeah. I might as well have been round here. Like, yeah. Know, and struggled a little bit on that perspective, but I've gone back to, I think this is 34 and a half, but just feel like I've got it a little bit closer to my body. Yeah. So that everything's in line and it's all right. And between, like I said, between this and the that SI2. One. Yeah, I really like the feel of that one. It felt very soft. Yeah, it feels very soft. I like the, it's kind of like a stroke lob shaft, isn't it? Yeah. And the grip on it's pretty comfy. So I'm definitely in the, in the Red Seymour grip. The heads are pretty similar. There's not a lot in the diameter. I think it's just the face. I think obviously that's no insert, kind of like your yeah. even roll, and that's your insert. Well, we'll to me, that's softer. We'll find out where Sam went in a few weeks' time. We're going to have to do a little unboxing, aren't we? <laughs> See, you See you later. See you later, guys. Bye.